yeah so welcome to this video tutorial so if you are looking for making video personal book sms sender software maybe for personal use or you can use it at all for business where you can create sms platform arbitrage people to make money online so in this particular video i'm going to show you how to set up here your own bug sms system that you can be using for bug sms so i'm going to show you this demo of this software some of some of its features like you can see it has routine recovery coverage it has sms gateway it has users management it has the option to send sms data on data backup and database backup plan supports tickets website control so i'm going to show you every demo of uh, every feature of this software after i show you how to set up this bug sms software so what you need to set up this software is your domain name uh with me and your uh, and this book sms script which you can get by clicking the link under this video then your api are going to be sending your book sms so if this is the first time watching our youtube video click on the subscribe button like and comment so let me show you how to set up this book sms system and start using it for personal or for business use so to get started so you have to get your domain name so just go to uh, go to the chip So just go to Netchip by clicking the link under this video so you can go to Netchip, just buy your domain name. I've already gotten a domain name, I'm going to be using a particular domain. So just go to Netchip, after I've gotten a domain from Netchip, then go to interserver.net. So just go to the server, server. So after I've come to the server, so you have already have your hosting or your domain that you want to use, you can just keep this video to front. So just if you don't have your hosting or domain, you can use I recommend using a Netchip, use Netchip server or and use InterServer to get to your hosting. You know, so after you've gotten your hosting, then connect your name server to your domain name. So after I've connected your name server, then come to your server here. So this is going to look like. So I'm going to be using a demo domain. So just come to the domain setup. Sorry, I'm going to be using a subdomain. I click on the subdomain. So that's what I did. Then the next thing, I'm just going to have file manager. So the file manager, open domain. So you can it's not compulsory to use a subdomain, but if you want to use a subdomain, you can use it as well. So you can open. Okay. So yeah, this we are going to upload our book SMS script. So for you to get the script, you can just click the link under this video to get this book SMS script. So right click, just click on upload file. So I'm going to get the scripts. So it's going to take a few minutes depending on your network. So I'm going to pause it to when it's going to upload fully. So the uploading is done. Then the next thing you have to extract on the empty file. Extract. Let's click on the strats. So 
so just open this folder files open so we're going to move all this file to the root directory Just copy all this folder. Copy and move to so we can move. Yes, sorry. So the file has moved to the root directory, so we just have to open that tab and paste your domain name. Slash install. Yeah, so just scroll down and click on agree next step so if everything is okay you are going to see green 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 especially if you are using inter server mostly you are going to see all this option green green so but here i'm going to show you how to set up so how to change the permission require permission so just go to this folder i do this first call um, bootstrap and catch Just open the folder here. Open the bootstrap. So this page, just right click, then click on set permission. Save. So the second one, storage, call storage apps. Cause slash storage slash app that's the folder we're going to change the uh, change the uh, permission So the storage first, open set permission, save, then open the storage, and then the app called slash storage slash app, set permission. So the last, sorry, second to the last, called slash storage slash framework, then slash logs. So just do everything here. Save. So just reload. So let's save it in check check here. So just click on next step. Here. So we're going to enter the database information. So let's just go back to our database. Then we we'll reload the page.
So just go to your cPanel. So if you are using Tassava, just search for database. So if you are using another different, oh, sorry, different hosting, uh, uh, different from Tassava. So just look for database. Just follow the same procedure. Just choose database. So just create database. Take click on to it. So just copy the database name. Database username. Database password. The host is going to be local host. And click on install. So is that installation success with then you are good? You just have to please delete the installed folder. So just come to your install folder. Yeah. So I just leave it, just rename it. Let's rename it, just leave it there. Can rename it with anything you want. Then click on go to website. So if it's go to the website, you can face this similar issue as well. This chance you're going to face this similar issue, especially if you are using enter server. So maybe the reason the more the reason is that maybe you are using uh the list and latest version of php maybe 8.1 or 8.2 or 8.3 so what you're going to do let's go back to your account go back to your php So you have a new exam, it also does search for PHP, so you're going to see select PHP version. So just downgrade it back to 7.4. I click on apply. So let's reload it now. You can see it does work perfectly. Everything has worked perfectly. So this is just your login page. So if you want people to register, I can just click on lead that account. These are going to lead your information. So for you to log in again as admin, so just put the admin page. So it's going to ask you for password for password. Uh, for username and password so after you get in the script you're going to get the username and password so i'm going to log in you have logged in successfully so that's how it works so i'm going to show you some feature of this book sms so the roots and coverage is going to show you the country of list you want your software to support you can add as many as possible country you want to be sending the sms to after that your sms gateway so it, uh, it supports a lot of SMS gateway. You can use Chica, you can use Click Actor, you can use Clockwork, you can use Connect Media, you can use a lot of API. You can support close to 30 SMS gateways so that which you can use and connect to your SMS software to your uh, connect to your SMS software and then start sending your book SMS. So yeah, this is if you want to send book SMS. So you can just select your book SMS. Yeah, you want to create diff different plan. This are going to create a different plan. You can just create your different plan. Enter your plan name, price, uh, minimum amount of SMS you can send, maximum. The so one is going to valid support seller and others. Then click on status. Then click on save. Does that create different plan? So support it, this we are going to save those people uh, or your customer that they send to email. This we are going to see all the email they send to you. 
So let's have control data settings. So you can just name your software any name you want. Just name it anything. Your name, if you want to uh, enable email verification, you can just check it. If you want to enable SMS verification, you can check it. If you want to uh, uh, enable recapture, you can just check it as well. Click on save. If you want to come to this email template. So then we are going to show the sample of your email. That's how it works. So your logo icon settings. So this is going to change your logo. Contact settings. So if you want all your clients to message it, just put in your contact, your email, and your phone and your address. So that's how this how you can set up this bug SMS system and you can start using it to send your code SMS and start using it to make money online as well by sending SMS system to individual or business owners. So for you to get started, all you need is hosting domain, this bug SMS script and your SMS gateway. So for you to get just get the SMS script, just click the link in the other video. So if you want those steps to set it up from here to Z, then you can just talk to the WhatsApp by clicking the link under this video. Thank you. We'll see you again.